Hey guys, Ivan here, and today we got, uh, well, another controversy going on, circling around the internet, and I had to address this one as well, so basically it's uh, Samson Dauda, and the question is, who is his real coach, because the guy from Merrick Health is now trying to take all the credit for what Samson brought to the Mr. Olympia stage uh, when he won. At this point, we all know that Samson is coached by his wife, Marlena. She is his coach, she was helping him ever since he stopped working with Milo Shachev, and uh, she is the one that, that coached him. Now, we also know that Samson had a help from this guy, from Mary Kelta. Uh, his name is Michael Warner, and actually I thought it was like some kind of a nerdy doctor, but he's actually a bodybuilder. And Samson talked about him and his assistance in his prep very, very much, like many, many times, on Fuad's podcast, on different platforms, and we knew about him. But is he really Samson's coach? Because again, the rumor that is going around right now is that uh, he was shadow coaching Samson and that Marlena wasn't even coaching Samson at all. And so what Michael Warner did is he shared his private conversations with Samson with a couple of Instagram pages. I'm not gonna show you that, it's unnecessary, it's really lame and really low from him to share such things. And it's really not revealing anything, it's basically the same things we already heard from Samson. But I will show you a couple of interesting things. First, let's hear what actually happened here. I mean, what is Michael's perspective on this? So Michael Warner talked to a couple of uh, influencers and he shared his story. So let me show you what he says uh, happened. Michael was helping him with his blood work and designing his cycle around that. And, and he said it's been like the... He was talking about how it was one of the best preps that he had has ever done. And it was all thanks to Michael. And nobody brought up Michael Warner at all on this Olympia win for Samson. Michael Warner was the guy behind Samson Cycle. We left the Olympia. We walked out of there. And Michael was on the outside of the theater looking upset as f And we were like, dude, congrats. What are you doing out here? Why aren't you in there? Why aren't you on stage? Like, this is this is your guy. You guys won. And he was like, dude. He was like, there's a whole lot of that that happened. They, they got rid of me right after France. Someone commented on one of Samson's posts saying, Michael Warner, isn't this the guy you coach? And Michael posted an emoji with sunglasses on. And moments later, Samson texts Michael and says, what the f are you doing? Like, he doesn't, he doesn't, I'm paraphrasing, but basically, it's like, what the f are you doing? You cannot be publicly saying anything like that, making people think that you're my coach because my wife's my coach. And that's the story. And ultimately ended up firing him. All right, so you heard it, guys. Basically, somebody asked uh, Mike uh, Warner in the comment section of Samson's post after winning the France, is he Samson's uh, real coach? And the guy replied with an emoji, a sunglasses emoji. Meaning, yeah, basically that's what it means. It means I'm proud. I am the guy. He didn't say, yes, I am Samson's coach, but it's the same thing. Let's be real. Everybody would understand that. But as you can see right here, Samson did make a post in which he is thanking Mary Held and Mike Warner. So he says, I would just like to take a moment to thank the great company Mary Held. And he thanks Michael Warner for the amazing help they gave me this past prep, making sure I was healthy while working alongside my coach Marlena to help me have one of my best preps of my career. It has been an amazing partnership and one that I look forward to continuing working with Mary Held and their great health coaches. Thank you guys so much. So that's the first thing, Samson did thank this guy and he talked about him many, many times on different podcasts, on different platforms, he tagged him, they have multiple collaboration posts and, and photos like this on Michael's Instagram, so it's not like this was shadow coaching, it was very open and transparent, however, 
Michael Warner thinks that he is the real coach because he designed Samson's cycle. Now, in my eyes, a coach can also be named nutritionist. And I heard many times from different people that, for example, Chris Aceto doesn't even do the drug protocols for his guys. He's only doing their nutrition, they tell him what they're taking, maybe he adjusts that a little, but basically he's not really in charge of the cycle or of the training, all he does is input and output, basically cardio and food, nutrition. And I personally know a number of guys who prepped basically on test E and, and EQ, or even DECA stuff like that, without any orals, without any fast-acting compounds, and they get peeled for the stage, they get super hard and super dry. So really, what kind of cycle you're taking is the least important thing. What matters the most is the amount of milligrams. I mean, it sounds wrong because it's not all about how much you're taking, but, you know, in the end it is, really. All the gear is basically very similar. Sure, there are compounds that you would prefer to use in your prep, but you can really do a very good job with anything else, honestly. So the main thing uh, Michael Warner helped Samson with was uh, feeling uh, good, feeling mentally good, probably because he wasn't taking that many harsh compounds. And also probably the more important thing is uh, he, he made sure that he stays healthy, that he doesn't necessarily do too much stuff, that he takes the right amount that's gonna get the job done, and he stays as healthy as possible. And if that is the reason why he should be named Samson's coach, and, you know, to invite him to, to go on the stage, on the Mr. Olympia stage, and leave the freaking Sando and say that he is the guy that made Samson the Mr. Olympia. I mean, come on, guys. Like, these people are arguing who is Samson's coach. Is it Milo Sharchev who, who made him what he is? Is it uh, his wife? Is it Samson alone? Now we have this new guy. They're all trying to take credit. But basically, in the end, it's Samson who does all the work. It's Samson who's doing the training. It's Samson who's eating. It's Samson who has this great genetics and, and who won the Mr. Olympia title. And the biggest help that he had this year was of his wife. She did his diet. She did his peak week protocol which is probably the most important thing for him and also she got him in shape with food manipulation with cardio and stuff like that whoever designed his cycle i mean sure that's a great help as samson said many times so far but you know as they say uh, samson stopped working with him after friends and i would do that as well but yeah, he didn't work with this guy for the Mr. Olympia, so why would he invite him on stage or give him credit? Because he didn't even help him during the peak week. And they stopped working after the friends because he tried to take the credit to say that he is the coach, the actual coach behind the scenes, the shadow coach. If you go to Michael's uh, Instagram page, you will see a whole bunch of snippets, parts of Wood's podcast where Samson is talking about him. So he really, really utilized this opportunity to promote himself. And he works for Merrick Health. Merrick Health is sponsoring Fuad Abiyar and, and his podcast. And that's how Samson got in touch with them. And if Samson knew that they were gonna give him the most egotistical doctor or whatever he is over there, he probably wouldn't accept that. <laughs> you know, they could have given him somebody else who is not gonna try and take all the credit for themselves, who, who is basically a bodybuilder and wants to, like, show to everybody all the time that he is the one who helped Samson. I mean, the guy wants way too much credit, if you ask me. He received a lot of, a lot of praise, a lot of advertising by doing this, and what? He wanted to take all the credit, to say that he's a shadow coach, that he actually coached Samson, and it's not his wife, by leaving that emoji under that comment, that question. I mean, it sounds silly, it's just an emoji, but it's not just an emoji. I mean, this is 2024, everybody knows what every emoji means. It's, all, it's the same as he said, yes. It's the same thing, basically. And if I thought Samson was in the wrong here, I would say it, guys. I mean, yesterday I criticized harshly Mike Wenwick for what he did, even though he's Fuad's friend. Because censorship is not a part of our deal, I will always do what's right and say what I think, and in this case, I definitely think the guy from Mary Health, Mike Warner, is most certainly in the wrong here, he is not Samson's coach, he is an opportunist that tried to take way more credit than he deserves, and he got a lot of credit, probably even more than he deserves, honestly, but he wanted more, he wanted the whole pie. Now, let me show you what Samson said about this. 
So after the who is the best bodybuilder Instagram page shared the screenshots and the whole story, Samson texted them and this is his official statement. So he says he's been going around trying to take credit for the work he didn't do. Even though it was made clear to him right from the beginning, he's not my coach in any way, but he did assist, like I've stated in various podcasts and posts. I gave him so much publicity, but it looks like it wasn't enough. I can't believe he shared my private messages with him to various YouTubers just to get publicity for the work he didn't do. Then when he's called out, he turns around and acts all innocent like he was a victim. So yeah, once again, guys, uh, the real coach of Samson Daura is his wife, uh, Marlena. Marlena is not a coach, I don't think. I don't think she's uh, working as a coach. She's not accepting clients, but she was around Samson for as long as he was competing. I think she actually prepped him for his first show, and she was there uh, looking at what the other coaches were doing with him. She knew his body very well. Uh, she was the most devoted to him, and he trusted her and all that. So he prepped with, with her. I know it sounds crazy to so many people that uh, a wife of a bodybuilder is prepping him and he's winning the Mrs. Olympia, but it happened before, like especially during the 90s and before that, like for example, Dorian Yates used to have help of his wife, I mean, he never gave her the credit the way Samson is giving Marlena, but it's true, I mean, Dorian was prepping by himself, but his wife was looking at him, telling him what she thinks, this and that, I know plenty of guys as well, on an amateur level though, who are doing that, but yeah, the Mr. Olympia, especially in the modern bodybuilding, it's not a common thing, I don't think it ever happened in the past 20 years, but it happened this year, and I know it's hard to believe it, but it's the truth, and yeah, somebody else did help him with the cycle design, maybe somebody else helped him with the posing, maybe another person helped him with the tan, but the nutritionist, the coach, the one who deserves the credit for Samson's conditioning in the end is his wife, and I, I say himself, they are the team, it's them, it's only them, it's nobody else, it's not Mary Held or Michael Warner, and that's the end of it, you guys tell me down below, what do you think about this whole situation, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, for more content like this guys, subscribe to this channel, and if you are also looking for a coach, you can hire me as well, I'm very affordable and very available, so guys, DM me on Instagram, we can talk about that as well, thank you guys so much for watching once again, all the best, see you soon, and bye-bye.